Good morning everyone, so the internet is back and uh, so that's great news and uh, we'll continue uh, with morning prayer this morning and hopefully again with uh, Compline at 7 o'clock this evening. And so today uh, is Wednesday the 29th of April and we come together and gather together for morning prayer on a day in which we remember Catherine of Siena. Uh, who died in 1380, but um, if you read about Catherine of Siena, she was quite a woman. And so our collect will reflect her today. So our opening responses. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. We'll keep a few moments of silence. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> and so our psalm this morning is Psalm 105, and the refrain is, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. O give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises, and tell of all his marvellous works. Rejoice in the praise of his holy name. Let the hearts of them rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, remember the marvels the Lord has done. He is the Lord our God, whose judgments are in all the earth. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise that he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan to be the portion of your inheritance. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When they were but a few in number of little account and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation, 
from one kingdom to another people. He suffered no one to do them wrong, and rebuked even kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then he called down famine over the land and broke every staff of bread. But he had sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They shackled his feet with fetters, his neck was ringed with iron, until he foretold, until all he foretold came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him, the ruler of people set him free. He appointed him lord of his household and ruler of all he possessed, to instruct his princes as he willed, and to teach his counsellors wisdom. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then Israel came into Egypt, Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and the Lord made his people exceedingly grateful, and he made them too many for their adversaries, whose heart he turned, so that they hated his people, and dealt craftily, dealt craftily with his servants. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then he sent Moses, his servant, and Aaron, whom he had chosen. He showed his signs through their word and his wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness, and it grew dark, yet they did not heed his words. He turned their waters into blood and slew all their fish. Their land swarmed with frogs, even in their king's chambers. He spoke the word, and there came clouds of flies, swarms of gnats within all their borders. He gave them hailstones for rain, and flames of lightning in their land. He blasted their vines and their fig trees, and shattered trees across their country. He spoke the word, and the grasshoppers came, and young locusts without number. They ate every plant in their land and devoured the fruit of their soil. He smote all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their strength. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then he brought them out with silver and gold. There was not one among their tribes that stumbled. Egypt was glad at their departing, for a dread of them had fallen upon them. He spread out a cloud for a covering and a fire to light up the night. They asked, and he brought them quails. He satisfied them with the bread of heaven. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out and ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy word, and Abraham his servant. So he brought forth his people with joy, his chosen ones with singing. He gave them the lands of the nations, and they took possession of the fruit of their toil that they might keep his statutes and faithfully observe his laws. Alleluia. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. God of our earthly pilgrimage, feed your Easter people with the bread of heaven, that we may hunger and thirst for righteousness until we reach our promised land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So we continue our readings uh, from the book of Exodus, and yesterday we heard of the giving of the commandments to Moses, and then to the people of Israel. Exodus chapter 24. Then God said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship at a distance. Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but the others shall not come near, and the people shall not come up with him. Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the ordinances. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words that the Lord has spoken we will do. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up twelve pillars corresponding to the twelve tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the people of Israel who offered burnt offerings. 
and sacrificed oxen as offerings of well-being to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. Then he took the book, book of the covenant and read it in the hearing of the people, and they said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do, and we will be obedient. Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said, See the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with, these, with all these words. Then Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu and 70, 70 of the elders of Israel went up, and they saw the God of Israel. Under his feet there was something like a pavement of sapphire stone, like the very heaven for clearness. God did not lay his hand on the chief men of the people of Israel, although also they beheld God, and they ate and drank. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and wait there, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandment, which I have written for their instruction. So Moses set out with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up into the mountain of God. To the elders he had said, Wait here for us until we come to you again, for Aaron and Hur are with you. Whoever has a dispute may go to them. Then Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day he called to Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like a devouring fire on top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we move on to our second scripture reading. And yesterday we began readings in the, in the Gospel of Luke. And so we're on Luke chapter 1. Yesterday Mary received a visit from the angel Gabriel and was told that she was to bear, to bear a, a son, the Son of God. In those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her for about three months and returned to her home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? 
we come to the words of the Benedictus. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Alleluia. Shall we pray? Holy God, we do thank you for this new day. We thank you for all that, all that we will experience in it. We thank you for sleep. We thank you for rest. And we thank you, Lord, for your peace among us. A peace that passes all understanding. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our cycle of prayer today, we give thanks for all those we have perhaps in the past taken for granted, and all those who have carried on working quietly often in the background. We give thanks for our waste collectors and our supermarket workers, for our food deliverers and our farmers, for our logistics people, our lorry and van drivers, for our plumbers and electricians and engineers and transport workers. And Lord, there are so many more people working, keeping uh, our society going, keeping our, engineer, our engineering moving. We give you thanks for every person, Lord, who is setting out to work this morning to do the job that they have done year after year and no one has noticed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray, Lord, for all those um, who are keeping working in our emergency services. We give you thanks for our police force, for our fire service, for our ambulance service, for our coast guard service, for all in our armed services. We thank you, Lord, for all who give service in this way. We pray, Lord, for their safekeeping this day. Pray, Lord, for wisdom for each one and good decision making, as many today will be faced with uh, difficult decisions to make. We continue to pray also, Lord, for all those in our prison service, those coping with the virus within uh, prisons, and for those coping with difficult uh, prisoners 
for those dealing with those who um, have psychiatric difficulties too and serious mental health difficulties. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we continue to pray for those working in our NHS and as we hear of the death of a nurse in Boston and as things come very close to us, we pray particularly today for all those working in our hospitals and in our communities and hospice and care homes in Lincolnshire. We give you thanks, Lord, for each one. And help us, Lord, never ever to take them for granted for what they do and for what they're doing today. We pray, Lord, for all those who are bereaved in whatever circumstance. We pray, Lord, for those who will in this week be going through funerals that are not what they would want them to be. Lord, may each one know your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves today. We pray, Lord, that we might shine and reflect your glory and your life in us. That we might continue to be able to give of ourselves, but mostly give of you. And Lord, that we might be what you would want us to be today. Kind, good, gentle, peace-filled people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So as I said at the beginning today, we remember Catherine of Siena, God of compassion, who gave your servant Catherine of Siena a wondrous love of, the love of the passion of Christ. Grant that your people may be united to him in his majesty and rejoice forever in the revelation of his glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me this morning and I hope that all of you have a good day and that it is peace-filled and that you find some joy in your day. And so lots of love to everyone and God bless to everyone.